pull this trigger basically at any point when this thing's on, and you get nine seconds of full 100% power regardless of anything else. So for this first minute, this is like the active burial thing. And this first minute is basically pulsing between 100% and 50%. 100% and 50%. And basically, in addition to like adding duplicity to getting that volume regardless of any kind of obstructions to the intake. It's also recovering. So if I did get strained through the trees and I got a slit in the side of the bag, it's still maintaining that volume. Um, 200 liters, by the way, which is... There's no reason not to go bigger. And it does this for the first full minute. And so then, after that first full minute, what happens is we just basically go into we go into the volume maintenance. So this is kind of like we're trying to reach that CE certification um, of three minutes, and that's so we're just trying to maintain the volume at a reasonable <coughs> level for this next two minutes. The other thing that, that this offers up is the advantage of being able to pull the trigger and then go in and find your buddy who just got buried. If you're worried about hang fire, you can actually kind of, you know preemptively pull the trigger and you're protected for that full three minutes. If I were, at any point after that nine seconds, I can push that button back in and I can stop deployment. Um, which means basically that it, it will just, it goes back to being active and deployable and it still maintains the volume, but the fan's not running. So that's again, if I want to save the battery life or if I want to go in and rescue somebody but not have the fan running and the noise um, distracting me. If I did do that, and it's still active, I could pull the trigger again, and it would go right back to that nine seconds. Um, so, and, and start basically from scratch. So, 